Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Color Me Bad Land. Back to share some extremely like below affordable fragrances. This will be my first impression of these fragrances. Uh, and also finding out if you smell any of these fragrances or are familiar with these fragrances and what you think about them. Well, at least I'm going to share what I think about them for the very first time with you today. So if you are interested in finding out what fragrances I came on to discover with you today for the first time, please continue to watch. All right, so before we get into our fragrance discovery today, um, I do want to welcome you to my channel. Um, this may be your very, very first time ever laying eyes on me. Um, and for that, you are more than welcome. Happy to meet your acquaintance. Just to give you a little bit of a brief scenario about who I am and what we do over here in Color Me Bad Nation. We talk all things beauty. You name it, we're going to talk about it from the inside out. Mainly, we'll talk about fragrances. Fragrances that are in my collection, those on my wish list, maybe some of those that are in your collection and your wish list. Um, new discovery finds, extremely affordable fragrances. As a matter of fact, today we're going to get into some fragrances that are under $10, you guys. Yes, $10. So, welcome to our channel. Um, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to check out other videos, like, share, and subscribe. So, let's get into it. Alright, so let's go. Uh, our first fragrance, I'm not going to go in any particular order again because this is my very first time smelling any of these scents. Um, if you're wondering where I found these fragrances, I found them at our favorite Blue Bag Boutique. For those of you guys who aren't familiar with what we refer to as the Blue Bag Boutique, it is Rainbow Shops or RainbowShops.com. Yes, you guessed it. This discounter uh, boutique uh, fashion store. Uh, has fragrances in them and they have deals where you get three um, fragrances or colognes for ten dollars or they are four dollars and 99 cents each yeah five dollars and so I have been enjoying discovering these scents I've been told that you can find and actually I just found out during the past holiday season that some of these fragrances you can actually also find at five and below the only deal is is that at five and below they are $4.99 since they don't have the three for 10 deal. So if you can look up and find them at Rainbow Shops, you get a better deal, right? Because you kind of get like one fragrance for free. Let's get into our first scent. Again, I have yet to smell any of these, so I don't know what they smell like, but I'm interested. I think I have this one already. Um, it is a duplicate for a Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance. And I think this is one of the ones that I enjoyed. I just grabbed this box. If I have it already, it's okay. I won't be upset about it so let's check it out this one is G for women sexy and red and I think I have this one so again this is uh, I know for sure this is a duplicate for John Paul Gaultier's uh, one of John Paul Gaultier's scandal fragrances uh, and I think that I have this one already and if I do I'm gonna give this away we have Valentine's Day coming up so I'm definitely gonna give this one away but for some reason or another, and I do have a trash bag. I use these as trash bags. Um, for some reason or another, I was thinking this is a new box. I've never seen this before. And like I said, if I already have this one, it's okay. Because these smell really, really good, you guys. And yeah, I think I already have this one. So this one, yeah, this one looks super, super familiar. Let me take a look and see. I don't know. This one may be a little bit different. I think I do have it though back there somewhere but these smell absolutely amazing you guys so if you do gain an opportunity to find this one at either the online store or inside of the store these are really really pretty um, I like to use these for layering combinations um, these are beautiful bedtime scents um, and they definitely give you the Jean-Paul Gaultier experience they don't smell exactly like Skandal, but when I tell you they came very, very close, they did a beautiful job with these. Um, they don't smell $5-ish. Um, of course, you can tell that they're not the higher end quality that you normally get from Jean Paul Gaultier, but they did a beautiful, beautiful job at this. And so if you do bump into G for women, sexy and red, I highly recommend that you add this. It smells so good, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful scent. 
perfect for bedtime and perfect for layering. All right, so as I was excited about seeing some boxes that I had never seen before on the shelves um, at Rainbow in their little beauty corner, um, I ran across this one, which is another duplicate for Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance. Love, love the box. Whenever I see G for women, that is a scent that is duplicating normally one of the versions of Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And so I had to grab this one because this doesn't look like anything that I have tried before. And if I've purchased it, it's been a while and I probably gave it away. So I wanted to see what this one smelled like. All of the ones that I've gotten for male and female that are duplicating Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances all smell good, you guys. And that first one that we just sprayed, the bomb. I mean, they last forever. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to use that as a bedtime scent today just to go ahead and use up the old one that I have. It smells absolutely amazing. Let's get rid of our trash because I will leave. This stuff will be here. Let's put it up. We're not going to use this again, so we're going to throw that away. All right. And so again, G for Sexy Eau de Parfum. Now we had before some scents that I discovered from them. They were made by a different company and they gave us the notes of the fragrances on the boxes. This is a different company and they don't do that for us on these, but that's okay. Um, we'll, we can figure it out, right? All right. So this one... It looks a little different. I'm not sure. I think I've got one close to this, but this look this looks a little bit different because the legs aren't silver like the other ones. They got like a little gold tone to them. Um, again, this one is G for Women Sexy Eau de Parfum. And as you can tell, this is a duplicate um, for Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal. I don't know which one this is duplicating because we don't have a sticker. I have to wear it for a while to be able to tell you which one it's a dupe for. But I like the smell of these. Like they did a very good job of duplicating Jean-Paul Gaultier's fragrances. And you know, I like the bottles. They did a really good job. <laughs> they did a really good job of duplicating the way the bottles are made. And that's what really... Um, made me like these when I first start playing around with these to see what I thought about them. This one is a little bit lighter. Kind of gives you the scent of almost a little bit of a soft, spicy, licorice kind of scent. Um, it's not as strong and potent as the very first one that we tried, but I'm definitely excited about playing around with this one and either using this for a layering component or for a really nice bedtime scent. Again, this one is G for Women, Sexy Eau de Parfum. These scents again are $3, or I'm sorry, they're three for 10, or you can get them $4.99, Rainbow Shops. Okay, so let's break it up a little bit. Um, I grabbed, they didn't have that many of the new scents for women that I hadn't already tried before. Um, and so I found a gentleman's scent that I wanted to check out and find out what it smelled like, okay? So let's break it up and let's check out one of the male scents that they added or that I'd never noticed before and I thought I'd check it out. This one is called Le Grand Chrome. Um, and again, this one doesn't have the notes on it either to let us know what it's a do for, but we can kind of figure it out. Um, and the box looked different to me. I don't think that I've smelled this one before. Um, every now and then you'll kind of forget like if you collect and grab all of them which ones you already have uh, with the box unless it has the picture of the fragrance on the outside and some of them they do and so that's kind of helpful in remembering whether or not you already tried it or not but for $4.99 especially if you really really like the scent it's really not that big of a deal all right, so I really, really like the packaging. These are a little bit looser in the box than the ones before. This comes in a really nice, I like the packaging, you guys. So this is the packaging. I really like that. I really like that. I think that's really, really nice and sleek. Let's see what's happening with it. I'm gonna spray this one inside of the box. Well, I don't have anything on top of this hand, so let's try this hand. Okay, so this is very manly, very green. So they have the right color on this one. 
Um, it does have a little bit of a barbershop after aftershave vibe to it, which I'm known to like. We're gonna let that calm down a little bit, but it's 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 doing something really really nice. This is a nice one. This is good. It's got something in it though. It's got like a it's got a little lavender in it, definitely. Which you'll find in most male scents, you'll find a little bit of lavender in most men colognes. And I've expressed on several uh, videos and recordings that I'm not a lavender fan. But if it's done right, you can't even tell and it's not a big deal. Because sometimes that's what you need in fragrances and colognes to make them soothing and calming and, and, and nice and crisp and relaxing. Seduction. I like this, you guys. This smells really, really good as it's calming down. I would love to find out uh, what this smells like. This is really, really nice. It starts off kind of strong and really aftershave vibe-ish. But as it kind of calms and simmers down, this is really nice. This is really, really nice. Like, it kind of took me somewhere. Like I told you guys, I really, really love men colognes. And since they do something for your girl. And I kind of got lost in the sauce there for a second. Did you see that? I like this, like, a lot. Okay, so this one is Le Grand Chrome. Very, 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 very nice. Like, I got lost in the sauce. I had to take a pause. I had to take a pause for the cause, y'all. I told you something about certain men's sense of colognes and the notes and the components they use in them. They take your girl. I'm telling you right now, I had to take a whole break. When I say, watch your... That is the... Like, when I say, I'm going to sit that one to the side. Huh? You know, I'm going to sit there. I'm going to have to go back to that. It took me somewhere. Like, I'm talking about all of this activated. Let's get into our next one. Um, again, this is a scent that I don't think I smelled before. And so let's give her a try and find out what she's working with. This one is Sweetheart Champagne. I like the box. That's what kind of drew me in. It's the little pink color. The pink and white and gold, you know. The stripes going on, kind of sophisticated, you know. Okay, so let's get into it. You know how you go to like maybe a, a concert or something like that and um, you know it, there may be more than one. A lot of times when I go to places it's only like maybe a one act situation. But you know everything every now and then you may go to a concert where there's like a tour where there's more than one act or more than one group or more than one performer right. And so before you even kind of read process the first, the, the, the last person that just left the stage, you got a whole nother person on the stage acting and singing and dancing and doing whatever, but you're still trying to process what happened last, and that's what's happening to me right now. Like, that, that cologne sent me somewhere, y'all. I'm telling you right now, and I'm still there. Let's check out this one. Like, wow, 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 we. Let's see, let's see. I think this is a cute bottle. And it is, you guys. This is really, really cute. I don't know what this is on the back, but we'll figure that out later. I hope it's not on the inside. So again, this one is called Sweetheart Champagne. Really, really cute bottle. Really, really cute. They have a lot of pink. If you got somebody that collects fragrances and uh, they like the color pink, or they like, like if their bedroom or their bathroom has a little touch of pink and they just like that color and they love to decorate, that's a really cool place to buy fragrance bottles. Even if you just want to use them for decorating, they have a lot of pink uh, bottles in their collection. This smells good, you guys. This has a really nice scent to it. Like, what? It's a little strong. It's a very, very high in content alcohol it reminds me of like an escada fragrance you know how sometimes escada um is italian fragrance it gives you a really loud burst in the very very beginning 
um, and that's what this is giving me. But it's giving me a really pretty fruitiness. I guess the high alcohol content is probably the champagne note in this. It's definitely uh, some kind of a berry. I can't de I can't decide what berry this actually is, um, but it's really really cute. It's a really really cute scent. It's really, really cool on the skin when you spray it on. You know, sometimes when you spray fragrances, they heat your skin up and sometimes they even burn. So no matter what um, quality of fragrance you're using, you always want to make sure that you're using a layering first before you spray your fragrances, especially when it comes to body oils um, and things like that. Or like your three-in-one sprays where they say it's an air freshener a perfume and an oil all in one which I disagree with that you can only be one of the two um, or three but those types of fragrances that may have a really really high content in alcohol in them you always want to make sure you layer I like this it smells like something that I have in my collection like um, very springtime ish and it's very very pink very very champagne ish definitely you can smell that this is really nice i would like to find out what this turns into kind of strawberry it's kind of cherry it's, it's got some kind of berry in it like i said these don't come with the notes on the box like some of the others do um and so i can't tell you exactly what's what this is made up of i can just tell you what i'm getting in this very very nice i like this I would also like to use this as a bedtime scent and find out exactly what it does for me. And I like the bottle. The bottle is really, really cute. All right, so let's go for some gold. I love a good gold bottle, right? So hopefully this is gold. The box is gold. Um, this is called Be Extravagant. And I like this box because I love the, the packaging on that. Isn't that cool? I really like that when I saw that. I was like, okay, come on, let's get sophisticated on us. So this is called Big Extravagant. Again, this is another one. It doesn't have a sticker to tell us what it is or isn't. That's all good. All we care about is whether or not it smells good, right? So let's open her up and find out what's inside. And hopefully we've got some good good in here. Um, like I said, um, these are really, really beautiful fragrances for layering, believe it or not. And some of them I am going to be trying out for bedtime fragrances and see what they are working with. That's the only real way to test them out for me okay okay so on the inside of this box it has a little inscription it says a woman with class is timeless i like that very very nice all right so let's take a peek let's find out what we got on the inside oh you guys this is so cute so we are definitely anybody who collects fragrances it's gonna know that this is a combination of two different bottles. I'm gonna bring this in. Does this give anybody a vibe for anything? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna test this one out and see what's up. I'm gonna put this one on the inside of my elbow. It kind of gives you the, the Billy Ellis vibe, right? you guys and it smells similar to it as well this one is a little bit striking very very strong let's see okay so this is kind of giving you that vibe right okay it's giving you the vibe of the billy ellish vibe i got vanilla coming straight out the bottle you guys um right out the gate and it smells good it's got a very good scent to it so I would love to find out what it's going to give us. I'm going to spray a little bit of the Elish on the inside of my other elbow to see how it stands up against the original. But they did a good job of catching the vibe of the bottle design because as soon as I pulled it out of the box, I knew what they were going for. Now I'm going to tell you something. Um, Elish is a lot lighter and a lot softer than this one. It is. It really is. Um, it's a lot softer. I get more of a vanilla. Um, Elish is more of a, a creamier, silkier scent, very smooth. This for me is a bedtime scent. I can't, I don't wear this by yourself like um, if I were going to work or something like that. This is a scent that I would wear around the house, bedtime, and it's beautiful layering. Um, it's a heavy vanilla scent. 
And so for me, with vanilla scents, I have to layer up really, really strong and wear things to kind of help boost the vanilla for me because vanilla doesn't show up for me in my body chemistry. And so with vanilla scents, I always have to do a really, really nice soft spicy or warm spicy vanilla. Um, and it's normally coupled with a little booziness for me. Um, and so whenever I have fragrances that I run across like that, I know that they're going to work for me. Um, and Ellis doesn't really pop on my skin or body chemistry. And I know it's designed to be a more of a softer, um, elegant scent, which I love. It's just more for me like a bedtime scent and a layering component. But they did a good job of copying. They really, really, I mean, first blast out. And I'm going to be honest with you. It gave me like everything that Ellis gives you in development. So right now it's kind of simmering down. It smells a little weird on me because like I said, vanilla on me turns weird. Um, but I am interested to find out what this is going to do. And I'm going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to layer the two together and find out what I get. But they did really good and they came really close to emulating that fragrance. I like this. I think it's super, super cute. All right, you guys, I thank you so much for hanging in there with me. You made it to the end of the video. We've got one more scent to share. Uh, and uh, normally, I, don't, I know you probably noticed, I always have something going on in the background, whether the music or the meditation is too loud or it's relaxing and it makes you fall asleep while I'm talking to you. Um, if you can hear a little bit of the background music today, hopefully I'll blend it out a little bit. But I am going to share at the end of the video a picture of the jazz album that i am enjoying today i decided to share it it's an old school jazz album and i love sharing um the music that i love and like to listen to sometimes and i thought i would share it so uh look out for that at the end of the video i'll share a picture of the album cover um i don't know if you guys subscribe to itunes but i love itunes because you can go in and find just about any and everything um you know so you don't have to worry about getting your daddy's records back you can go and dig them up on your own let's get into it our last fragrance is a roulette rouge eau de parfum now if you know me or if you are getting to know me here on youtube you know that i love a red bottle any fragrance that has the word rouge attached to it I'm probably gonna love and it's probably gonna smell absolutely amazing on me all right so when I saw this I got excited because I was like this is about to be some good juice even if it is $4.99 this is going to hit your girl's spot so let's dig in and find out what we're working with now y'all know me you know I love a good Baccarat Rouge dupe and I think I might have another one I love me some Baccarat Rouge. I don't come on and talk about it because everybody else does. And so there's really nothing left for me to say about it. Uh, you know, and uh, but uh, I love to find dupes of that fragrance because it is just such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And I think this is one, y'all. Give me just a second. Una momento. <laughs> Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is a duplicate for Baccarat Rouge. <laughs> oh, my God. They need to quit playing. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so they just gave us the total Baccarat. <laughs> I had to gather myself. When I tell y'all the Lord was in the laboratory with them this day. Look at this. Look, I'm going to bring it in closer, you guys. Listen, Linda. Have a good day. They totally did that. Do you hear me? I want to see what it smells like. I'm telling you, if, they, if this smells anywhere close, I'm going to get every bottle they got on the shelf. <laughs> you, got, you wouldn't understand. Okay, so let me... If you love Baccarat, you understand exactly where I'm coming from. And yes, it does smell like it. Girl, this whole arm about to be dripping. <laughs> oh my God, I like this. This is so cute, you guys. This is the fun part about collecting fragrances and finding, you know, different fragrances. Especially when you're dealing with um, 
companies like this and stores like this that create and sell uh, duplicates of <laughs> designer and niche brand fragrances because you look up on really, really good ones. It's a little strong. I'm going to let it die down because I sprayed a lot of this on my arm because I want to smell everything that's in it. Um, and so, of course, because it is, um, you know, a fragrance that is, um, you know, lower end, it's going to have a lot of alcohol content in it. But it is definitely giving the uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 vibe. I want to share that with you from the bottle to how they designed. They did a really good job with this, you guys. Um, I like this and I don't mind having duplicates in my collection because what I do with these, like I said, I use them for bedtime scents. Uh, I use them for layering and there are some of these fragrances and we're going to come on and share. There are some of these fragrances that stand all by themselves that I have worn by themselves and they last for five to six and eight plus hours, you guys. Uh, which will blow your mind when you layer fragrances properly and if it's something that meshes well with your body chemistry you come up with a winner i want to know how long this lasts on me and like i said i'm gonna go get more i'm gonna get at least two more of these because i love baccarat rouge i love the scent and the notes and any fragrance that even comes close to this fragrance that fragrance I absolutely love it's just one of those fragrances it didn't introduce me to the world of gourmand and niche brand fragrances but it's just one of those scents that men and women can wear and it's just so delicious it's so universal um, if you've noticed or been around anyone who actually wears that fragrance it doesn't smell the same on anybody I only know a couple of people that rock that scent and you you would never know what they have on um, that it's just one of those fragrances that morphs into its own development on each individual it's just absolutely gorgeous this gets really really warm on the skin so if you do um, decide to add this to your collection or play around with it or to see how close they got to Baccarat make sure you layer properly with this because my skin is heating up uh, from spraying this on it could be because I sprayed a lot on my skin or it could be the ingredients that are on the inside So always be careful with any type of fragrance that you spray on your skin no matter how much you pay for it Make sure you layer properly and protect your skin first and foremost because a lot of people spray down in oils um, and um, I want to say uh, different um, your oils your body mist and things of that nature and they don't layer properly first and I have been um, guilty of that myself like sometimes I'll be in a hurry and I don't hit all of my spots with my oil and my moisturizer and if you're using um, a certain um, quality scent spray it'll burn your skin okay so you have to be careful with that that's one of the reasons why you want to layer when you wear fragrances it's because you don't want to mess up your skin you can smell good without spraying this directly on your skin uh, making sure you protect your skin and a lot of these fragrances you can spray on your clothing which helps your fragrance to last a little bit longer as well you always want to make sure you use a white sheet of paper or a spray card to find out what color your fragrance is before you spray it on your clothing because if you're wearing some white or a light color clothing and you spray a fragrance on you that's a dark color other than clear it will mess up your clothes permanently so you have to be careful with that it smells really really good it's very very close to baccarat it definitely gives me that vibe i'm really really excited about um adding this to my collection uh, this is really really fun once again you guys of going in and um, discovering scents that rainbow shops have i'm super super excited i like that store so much i have one close to where where i um where i work and so i can just walk in there periodically and see what they have i love the staff in there the girls are um, absolutely amazing um uh, and so i really enjoy going in there and finding things like that um it clears my mind uh i don't know but i love re i have a retail therapy hankering on me like on a daily 
and so sometimes I'll just go in there and find little stuff like that and it'll just clear my head make me feel good and then I got a good laugh at some cute little fragrances to add to my collection all wrapped into one so it doesn't hurt to skip a little lunch every now and then and have a little fun if you guys have those scents in your in your fragrance collection the originals or the dupes or any dupes of those share it down in the comment with me I would love to hear uh, which ones you love you like you already have what's on your wish list this is your girl color me bad Lynn saying thank you all for watching I greatly appreciate all of the love and support welcome to all of my new subbies glad to have you if you are new shout it down in the comments and let me know uh, where you're from and what's your favorite uh, type in mind of fragrance I love to hear from you toodles we'll see you on the next video peace